Hey everyone, today I'll be ranking the best LEGO Star Wars Battle Packs of all time. So to waste no time, I'll start right at the 10th spot. And claiming this bottom spot is the 75164 Rebel Trooper Battle Pack. The builds here are serviceable with a decent speeder and a turret build which is a little bit better. But while the builds aren't perfect, the figures that accompany them are great. There are four unique Rebel Troopers in the set that are all detailed wonderfully. They take a more realistic look, like the Troopers in Rogue One, which is such a good look, and I hope we get another set with this kind of style of Troopers soon. It's a much more realistic feel that we haven't seen since Rogue One, really. Sitting at number 9 is the 75345 501st Clone Troopers Battle Pack. This set has three unique figures, which would normally be considered a bad thing in a battle pack, but it works in this case because it is a specialist battle pack. You have two heavy troopers, a specialist, and an officer. And I gotta say, it's really neat to see these specialized versions of these troopers. I love seeing some different clone troopers with extra details that we normally don't see. The build is actually pretty good too. It's a smaller kind of AV-7 cannon type build that kind of works and just rounds out the set. Number 8 is actually a remake of an old battle pack. It's the 75262 Imperial Dropship. They remade the 7667 Imperial Dropship Battle Pack for the 20th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars, and it was quite a good choice. This set was awesome back in the day, and so was the new one. The only reason I put the new one on the list instead is because of the updated figures. The Stormtroopers are solid, and the Shadow Trooper is really neat. Even though I'm not too sure who really needs to army build them, it's still a very cool figure to get. Now, despite a great lineup, it does kind of lack in the build department. Visually, it's not very appealing. But it is very fun for play. It has a really cool dropship feature where you can just drop your troops off. And it kind of makes up for its poor looks. Seventh on the list, I have the 75035 Kashyyyk Troopers Battle Pack. In this pack, you get four Kashyyyk Troopers, two of which are Scout Troopers. All these figures are great, especially the Scout Trooper, which is kind of a standout figure. LEGO really did a good job with these guys. The build that accompanies them looks alright. It's a scaled down swamp speeder and it's a solid build for these troops. It's a really good pack overall, it's just there's some really great battle packs up ahead. In the 6th spot is the 75320 Snow Trooper Battle Pack. This set comes with 3 Snow Troopers and a Snow Scout Trooper. These are some great looking figures and the builds that accompany them are just great. The snow speeder build is perfect, and the snow bank and e-web blaster are pretty good additions too. These are honestly probably some of the best builds in a battle pack to date. Now people are normally pretty biased towards clones, so I don't think this one gets enough praise. Taking the fifth spot on the list is the 7668 Rebel Scout Speeder from 2008. This set has quite a lot going for it. It is one of the few battle packs to include all four of the same troops which makes it pretty darn easy to amass a huge rebel fleet trooper army. This is exactly what you want in your battle pack. An easy way to build an army of cool troopers. The build is quite nice too, and it's not just your basic normal speeder build we always see. It's quite large and can fit all the troops you get in this set. Despite having cost $10, this set gives off the vibes of a normal LEGO Star Wars set and not a battle pack. In this case though, that's actually a compliment on how good the build and set design is and that the quality doesn't feel like a battle pack. It feels like a normal set. Sitting at 4 is the brand new 75372 Clone Trooper and Battle Droid Battle Pack. Now while $30 for battle pack might normally seem bad, in this case you are getting quite the deal. This set basically has two battle packs in it. You get three plain phase 2 troops as well as one phase 2 shock trooper. On the droid side you get two normal battle droids and three super battle droids. This is a great lineup, and the builds complement them perfectly. We get a tri and a staff speeder, as well as a speeder and a turret for the clones. It's a really fun battle pack that has plenty packed in for that price tag. Third on my list is the 75280 501st Legion Clone Troopers. Despite having an awesome lineup of three normal 501st Troopers and one Jet Trooper, the price is what drags this one down for me. The builds are good, but they're not really what you want from a battle pack. Well, I shouldn't say that. I think they just made the builds way too big, and they tried to justify that bigger price tag. I think LEGO totally knew that this set would sell like hotcakes, and they capitalized on this. 
They made it more expensive with bigger builds and that nobody really cares about, to be honest. This is really the only reason this set isn't at the first spot. If they would have taken the path of a more traditional battle pack with the downsized builds, this would have easily been number one. The second spot is taken by a very iconic battle pack from 2009, the 8014 Clone Walker Battle Pack. This set came with three normal clones and one clone gunner. In the set pictures, the one clone is actually dressed up as a commander, and that's one of the neat parts of this pack. It came with a ton of accessories for your clones. This set was such a great way to build your army with a stellar figure selection. And while the build isn't the best looking, it's pretty fun and that's all you can really ask for in a battle pack. Looking at this set, you can see why it's regarded so highly. Taking the top spot on my list for the best battle pack ever is the 750-6 through Utapau Troopers. This figure lineup is perfect. You get four 212 troopers, two of which are normal, and the other two are airborne. These figures all look phenomenal, as well as both are the best to their day of their respective troop. This is from back when LEGO cared and actually gave our troops cloth camos. On top of the amazing figures, the build is pretty fun. It's a tri-droid, so you can oppose your troopers you get in the set. It adds a pretty neat versus element that you don't really see in a battle pack normally. And I really love the idea that it gives you some play right out of the box. And it's just something different from your normal battle pack experience. Alright guys, that was the final battle pack for this list. And now I just kind of want to thank you all for stopping by and watching my video. And now that I've kind of given you guys my opinions, I want to hear your guys's. I'd love to hear where your guys' favorite battle packs are. So, share that down below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.